Hi, welcome to this quarter miles video. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the area of a quarter circle. So here we've been given a quarter circle, and we've been asked to find the area of this quarter circle and to give our answer to two decimal places. So as you can see, we've got a radius, another radius, and a right angle. So that's a quarter circle. And we've got the arc joining those. And we've got to find the area of this quarter circle. Now, a quarter circle is a quarter of a whole circle. So if we had a whole circle like this, our quarter circle would be a quarter of it. So if we find the area of the whole circle, and then just divide it by four, we will find the area of the quarter circle. And just remember the area of a circle area is equal to pi r squared. So if we do the radius squared and multiply it by pi, we'll get the area of the whole circle. And then we can divide that by four to get the area of the quarter circle. So let's get started. So here we've got our quarter circle. So let's turn our quarter circle into a whole circle. So let's just do a whole circle here. Okay, so we've got a whole circle, and we've got our quarter circle here in green, and we've been asked to find the area of this quarter circle. So let's find the area of the whole circle. So if we have a look at our whole circle, we've got a radius of 8 centimetres. So to get the area of the whole circle, we're going to do pi times 8 squared, pi times the radius squared. So let's do pi times 8 squared on our calculator. So pi times 8 squared, and that's 64 pi, or 201.06, so on. So we could write 64 pi, or we could write... 201.06192 and so on. And if you just put some dots, you're showing that the number carries on, but you just couldn't be bothered to write it all out. So we've got the area of the whole circle at 64 pi or 201.06192 and so on centimeters squared. Now we want to find the area of the quarter circle, so we now just need to divide by four. So we could do 64 pi divided by four, or we could do 201.0619 and so on and then just press divided by four, and that will give us, if we divide by four, that will give us an answer of either 16 pi or 50.26548 and so on centimeters squared. Now we've been asked to give our answer to two decimal places, so our answer to two decimal places will be 50.27 centimeters squared. And that's the area of this quarter circle, 50.27 centimeters squared. So to find the area of a quarter circle, you find the area of the whole circle, and then just divide it by four. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question is a non-calculator question, and we've been given a quarter circle, and we've got a radius of six centimeters. So if we have our whole circle, the radius of the whole circle is six centimeters. And we've been asked to find the area of the quarter circle and to give our answer in terms of pi. So we know it's a non-calculator question, so I'm just gonna put my calculator down. So let's find the area of the whole circle. So that's gonna be pi times the radius six squared. So we'll do pi times six squared. So six squared is 36, so that's pi times 36. So that would be equal to 36 pi centimeters squared. So that's the area of the whole circle, but we want the area of the quarter circle, so we now just need to divide by four. So we're gonna do 36 pi, and then just divide by four, and that will give us the area of the quarter circle. Now 36 divided by four is nine, so 36 pi divided by four would be nine pi. So the answer is nine pi centimeters squared. So the area of this quarter circle is 9 pi centimeters squared, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, the area of this quarter circle is 30 centimeters squared, and we've been asked to find y, which is the radius of the whole circle. So the area of this quarter circle would be 30 centimeters squared. Now if we times that by four, we'll find the area of the whole circle. So if we do 30 multiplied by four, that's equal to 120 centimeters squared. If we had a whole circle, there if the whole circle would be 120 centimeters squared. Now we can use our formula pi r squared, and know it's equal to 120, and then find out what y is, the radius of the circle. So we'd have pi r squared, so pi r squared. Now the radius of the circle is y, so pi times y squared would be equal to 120. Then normally, remember, whenever we find the area of the circle, we square the radius and then times it by pi. So let's work backwards, let's divide by pi. So let's divide by pi and divide by pi. And that will leave us on the left-hand side. We had pi times y squared. If we divide that by pi, we're just left with y squared. And then on the right-hand side, if we divide our 120 by pi, 120 divided by pi, that's equal to 38.19718 and so on. In other words, uh, what we've done is we find the area of the whole circle is 120 pi. We know to find the area of the circle, we square the radius and times it by pi. So we've divided by pi to find out what that would be. Now this is the radius squared, y squared. So we're gonna square root to find out what the radius would be. So we're gonna do the y equals the square root of 38.1978 and so on. And if we just do the square root of answer on our calculator, 
That gives us an answer of y equals 6.18 centimetres to two decimal places, to two decimal places, and that's it. So if you're given the area of a quarter circle, if you times it by four, you can find the area of the whole circle, and then you can just work backwards by dividing by pi and working out the square root, and then that will tell us our radius. And that's it. And that's it. So to find the area of a quarter circle, you just find the area of the whole circle and divide it by four. And that's it. So I really hope you found this video useful. Thanks very much.